This is my review of chapter 26 of the Bleach manga. So let's start with the volume cover. It's Uryu, nothing really remarkable. He's just wearing his normal clothes and stuff. He has his little Quincy bracelet. Um, I don't have anything to say about this. Up top left corner of the left page, we see some like rabbits, the rabbits I think the Rukia likes, and then there's a blurb about uh, Kubo changing his phone number, and like he talks about that uh, he was uh, it was called a wrong number, and he ended up talking to someone who's asking him about an embassy, and like some guy in Russian started yelling at him, and he, he's not sure if it was Russian or not. It's just fucking funny. Uh, Kubo is fucking weird. <laughs> and then we get a poem about uh, two people being drawn toward each other like water or planets or repulsed from each other by colors or magnets, something like that. I can't remember the exact thing. It was fucking weird. Uh, and then we open to Cone and Cone's talking about his life and how like everything's happened and he's allied with each and stuff and then we see Yuzu and he says that right now he's in trouble uh, Yuzu's cleaning and we see that she finds Kone and wonders if he belongs to Karin and the cover is of Kone wearing a cape in front of like a warrior with a sword he's not a samurai he's like a European warrior the sword had like a uh, front guard and stuff and so European looking armor on. Then we see the clinic and we see Ichigo slapping Cone and this is like a jump back a few hours. He's slapping Cone around in the house. He puts him outside and starts slamming against the wall and he's trying to clean him because he thinks he's dirty. Um, Ricky tells him to stop because she has a better way to clean him and then we see her holding a broom and she steps on Cone and starts brooming his face with the broom and Ichigo tells her to stop because that's the broom from the bathroom from their school. And so he makes her go and take it back, and I guess he went with her because each goes gone. And then Cone is pissed off, so he decides he's going to leave and try to find some greener pastures. Um, he's walking around, kind of lamenting a situation that he doesn't know what he's going to do now because he doesn't have any money or anything, and he's a fucking stuffed animal. Uh, and then he hears something. And he, he looks over and he sees Orihime and he kind of runs toward her um, thinking about stuff and she's playing Totsuki and Totsuki comes up right behind him with a fucking football and fucking kicks it and it sends Cone flying toward Orihime and uh, Orihime has a baseball bat and she smacks Cone in the ball and sends him flying off in the air and the ball kind of goes down and... Or he may start opening some champagne while Totsky starts criticizing her game, saying that the uh, person on defense has that of disadvantage. Uh, Cone lands, and then he kind of is like, I should have remembered Orihime's nature. And then he sees Chizuru, Michiru, and Ryo, three of Orihime's friends. And Cone decides to lay on the ground and hope one of them will pick him up. And they do see Cone lying on the ground, but they have a different reaction. Michiru thinks that he's cute and wants to pick him up, but then Ryo steps on him immediately, saying he's dirty, and steps on his face. Uh, but Cone makes a sound when she stepped on his face, and they all stop, and they become suspicious of him, and he starts freaking out because he made a sound just by instincts. Uh, and they plan to capture him and try to sell him something. So then Cone jumps up and starts running away, but Ryo was apparently a track star in school. So she starts chasing after him and tries to catch up to him. And Cone keeps running away and then he passes uh, alleyway and Chad's walking down the alleyway and Chad sees him. And then we see Chad has joined Ryo in chasing Cone. <laughs> that was really fucking funny. Um, and he manages to lose them somehow and he's back at Ichigo's house. He goes in but he decides to go to a random room and fall asleep. And then that's when Yuzu finds him and decides to clean him up in the bath. She does clean him and dry him off and stuff. And uh, he thinks for a bit that things are working out for him. And then she dresses him up like a baby. He starts getting pissed off. And he places her, or she places him between two of her toys. And she says, one's mommy and one's daddy. And he's the baby. <laughs> and Cone 
fucking starts just shitting on the whole thing. He's like, which one is mommy? Because <laughs> one's a monkey and one's a fucking monster. <laughs> that shit was really fucking funny. Um, she names Colin Bostov and she glows, like super glues a fucking uh, flower to his head. And he just starts freaking the fuck out. Um, I think it was called like super death glow or something. Ichigo gets home as he's coming upstairs. He hears something down the hallway, and Conan runs up to him and jumps at him and starts apologizing for running away. And Ichigo's kind of like, Well, you ran away. And then he looks at his outfit and he's like, What the hell happened? Rukia comes out of his room and they kind of look Conan over and then they take off his uh, outfit and stuff. But then um, Ichigo was tearing at the flower and it won't come off. And Rukia tells him he's going to tear Conan's ear off if he keeps pulling at it. And then Yuzu wakes up and Balstov is obviously gone. Because Kohn had no interest in being a part of that. Um, that was it. That was a funny chapter. Um, I think this is in the anime, but I guess maybe they moved it. I'm not sure. Um, that was funny. I still think the manga does more justice to Orihime than the anime. I think she's a lot funnier in the manga. She's more endearing. Um, she's more of a character. In the anime, she's a lot more subdued, I feel like. Early on, they definitely had her do a little more, but it's... Her, like, her explosive personality isn't there. Even when she's doing something weird and goofy, it's just more subdued. Rather than being, um, what's the fuck, uh, extrovert. <sighs> um, bearing that, it's a funny chapter. Um, I don't really have anything to say about it.